All right, it's a story three years in the making. The local church pastor behind these clever signs supporting the Tampa Bay Lightning in the postseason. But how did all of this start is the question. Where does he get the ideas for the more than 70 signs he's posted and the superstition behind it all? normal church behavior this time of year at Our Savior Lutheran Church in St. Pete. Assistant Pastor Tyler Moore often giving a Bible study lesson with a twist. It's kind of become a running gag where in my sermons I'll work in the lightning some way, whether it be just a little reference to the score or something like that. And his Bolt's pride displayed on the church sign out front. It all started back in 2015 when the Bolts made it all the way to the Stanley Cup final, but came up short against the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, it's a tradition. Being a Lightning fan, and I was kind of bored of seeing our sign just say Sunday worship times. I thought, well, let's go with pizzazz. The very first sign was Jesus saves, Stamco scores, go Bolts. And you know how hockey is synonymous with that whole superstition thing, right? I wouldn't say I'm superstitious, just a little stitious. Just a, you know, religious, you know, I can't do too much superstition. I put it up every, every game day morning, and then I post it on Twitter. Again, I try and do it during the 10 o'clock hour. The Lightning have noticed giving Rev Ty tickets to a few games, and while we're on on the subject of that. If anybody has any tickets that you're looking to get rid of, I mean, I, I wouldn't say no. I'll... So more than 70 playoff signs later, here's the latest. Rev Ty says the ideas come from friends, his wife, and many are simply just signs from above. Love it. All right, so when you look at him, you know, how can he, how does he know how many letters go on the marquee? So he told our photographer today that he looks at his phone, he has that app, the notes app, yeah. he goes in there, that's how he types in the characters and he knows how long the sign can be on each line. Nice. It's pretty cool. Hey, if we've got a pastor on our side, that's got to be worth something, right? You can't hurt, right? You can't. Friday, yeah. puck drops at 8 o'clock right at Amelie Arena.